a woman in a makeshift laboratory in Paris, stirring tons of pitch blend, or with an iron rod nearly as tall as herself. The year is 1902, and Marie Curie has been working for four years to prove that an unknown element exists. Her hands are cracked and bleeding from the radioactive materials, but she refuses to stop. Marie Curie didn't just break glass ceilings, she shattered them completely. Born in Poland when women couldn't attend university, she made a pact with her sister. They would take turns funding each other's education in Paris. Marie worked as a governess for six years to pay for her sister's medical school, then finally got her turn. In Paris, Marie lived in a sixth-floor garret so cold that water froze in her wash basin. She survived on bread, chocolate, and eggs, often fainting from hunger during lectures. But she graduated first in her physics degree and second in mathematics from the Sorbonne. Then she met Pierre Curie, a brilliant physicist eight years her senior. Their first conversation lasted hours, not about romance, but about science. Their love story was written in the language of discovery, and their honeymoon was a bicycle tour through the French countryside, discussing magnetic properties of crystals. Marie's breakthrough came when she investigated the mysterious rays emitted by uranium. She discovered that the intensity of radiation was proportional to the quantity of uranium present. Radiation was an atomic property, not a molecular one. This was revolutionary. But Marie suspected there were unknown radioactive elements. Working in a converted shed with a leaking roof, she and Pierre processed literally tons of pitch blend ore. After four years of backbreaking work, Marie isolated one-tenth of a gram of pure radium chloride. In 1903, Marie became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, sharing it with Pierre and Henry Becquerel for their work on radioactivity. But tragedy struck when Pierre was killed in a street accident in 1906. The University of Paris offered Marie Pierre's chair, she became the first female professor in the university's 650-year history. In 1911, Marie won her second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, for discovering radium and polonium. She remains the only person to win Nobel Prizes in two different sciences. During World War I, Marie developed mobile X-ray units, personally driving them to the front lines to help wounded soldiers. Her work saved countless lives. Marie Curie proved that genius knows no gender. She opened doors for every woman in science who followed, showing that determination and brilliance could overcome any barrier. Their stories are more than just history, they are life lessons about courage, love, and powerful ambition. If you want to keep learning from other great figures of the world, don't forget to subscribe right now.